This green cedar chest needs a makeover. We threw out the nasty old cushion, removed the recalled lock, and took off all of the extra frilly stuff. Then we filled in the damage and the ugly leaves with some quick wood. I cleaned it all off because I forgot to do that at the beginning. And then I sanded all of the quick wood down flush with the surface. I also lightly sanded the whole thing with 220 grit sandpaper to help the paint stick better. Then I sprayed my primer on it and the next day I painted it with House and Canvas's paint color called Underground. And then I sprayed on a top coat to protect the paint. And here's what it looks like now. We bought this cedar chest for $30. I removed the lock, then flipped it over and added some wood support so I could attach some legs to it. I removed the old hardware and filled in all of the holes, and then I sanded that filler down and then cleaned it. Then I sanded everything with 220 grit sandpaper and I sanded the top of the cedar chest down to bare wood. The next day I mixed a couple of paints together and I brushed it onto the bottom of the cedar chest. While I waited for the paint to dry, I worked on the top and the legs. I added some brown glaze on the legs to mimic what the top looks like. Then I sanded them down and whitewashed them and the top of the cedar chest. Then I top coated everything with some water-based polyurethane to give it some more durability and protect it. Isn't it so cute now? We sold it for $275 on Facebook Marketplace. My husband bought the cedar chest from the thrift store for $70. He removed the recalled lock, removed the hardware, cleaned it all, and filled in the extra holes and some damage with quickwood. When it was dry, he sanded it down flush. Then he put some Heirloom Traditions paint into our paint sprayer, added a bit of water, and then he sprayed it all over the cedar chest. We didn't care for the color of the wood on the base, so he wiped some General Finishes Java Gel stain onto it. After it was completely dry, five days later, he put a top coat on the base, but accidentally got some top coat on the paint, so he just sprayed another coat of paint all over the cedar chest. He put new knobs on and here is what it looks like now. So sinking easy. What do you think of the new looks? Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.